Torah TV. The world is thinking. If you could talk a little bit about the the motivation behind the Raspberry Pi. You mentioned it's about getting kids involved in programming. Mm -hmm. um, how exactly does that unit accomplish that? So um, I mentioned I had this machine called a BBC microcomputer, which was a, one of a couple of very popular 8-bit microcomputers in the UK, uh, along with the, the Sinclair, which I think was a Timex over here in the US. Um, the nice thing about these machines was you turn them on, they go beep, and you can start programming. And pretty much everyone I knew as a kid knew at least how to write that two-line program, you know, 10 print, I am great, 20 go to 10, or 10 print, something a bit more filthy than that. And then, uh, you know, go into your Radio Shack and type that into all the machines and hit enter on all the machines and run out of the door. So, <laughs> so, so that's what we're trying to coach Sean to do, you know. But, um, but um, yeah, uh, sort of from the mid-90s onwards, there hasn't really been access to devices like that. Uh, and really kind of our goal was to have something which is cheap enough that every kid can have one in their bedroom. Uh, I don't think you learn to program in two hours a week in a lesson in school. I think you learn to program in four hours a night at home. That's how you become a good engineer. And we were after something which is cheap and simple enough uh, that it's easy to get to grips with and that people can just you know, plug into an old television and start programming on.